Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be discussing about the cutting rod problem. Uh, cutting rod problem is actually about, uh, let's say there is a hardware shop uh, where the rods of the various pieces, various sizes are being sold. Uh, uh, let's say that there is a rod of size 1 inch and that costs you 10 rupees. And if there is a rod of size uh, 2 inch, so that may cost 20 rupees or may not cost 20 rupees. It depends on uh, the, uh, what is the demand of 2 inch 2 inch uh, pipe if the 2 inch rod or 2 inch pipe uh, has a larger demand then its price may be more than 20 it may be 25 rupees or it may be 30 rupees but if that uh, piece is not in the demand it may so happen that uh, it is somewhere in between 10 to 15 10 to 20 rupees so it may have a cost 15 rupees so meaning that the, the rod size which has a larger demand will be costlier and that may not be in the same proportion at the as the low uh, as that of the uh, smaller pieces so cutting rod problem is about you have been given a rod you have to cut that into the various pieces such that you earn the maximum profit okay a rod is given and you have to cut that rod into the various pieces and you have to cut uh, the rod into the various pieces such that you earn the maximum profit so uh, let's say the question is given that the rod are of size 1, 2, 3 and 4 and the profit that we are going to earn with the help of the 1 inch I am going to earn 2 profit with the 2 inch I can earn 5 profit with the 3 inch pipe or 3 inch rod I can earn 7 profit with the 4 inch I can earn 8 profit ok now the problem is that we have been given a rod of size 5 and we have to cut this rod of size 5 into various pieces such that I earn maximum profit. Now the, pro the solution to this problem will, that I'm, we are approaching is the dynamic programming solution and it's a 2D dynamic programming solution. We are saying that this is a 2D dynamic programming solution because we will be making use of a memorization table which is 2D in nature. It will be of a, it will be of a matrix type. Now suppose this is the matrix we have taken, or this is the memorization table we have taken for finding out the solution. The entries in the various cells of uh, this table will be the profit. Okay, so this will be the maximum profit that will be we will be writing here in this table. Now on the raw uh, on the row side we are writing the rod size. So 1, 2, 3, 4 are the rod sizes. So I have written 1, 2, 3, 4 here. An additional row is taken. And this is telling you that the rod size is 0. Similarly on the column side, we are taking the rod that has to be cut into the various pieces. If the rod size is 5 which is to be cut into the pieces, we are taking these many columns. So we are taking 0 column, 1 column, 2 column, 3 column, 4 column and 5th column. So fifth column means the last column is telling you the size, the, the, the maximum size of that rod. So the maximum size of that rod is 5. Now suppose I have a piece of rod which is having 0 size. In case this is the market piece. In case this is of 0, zero size obviously the cost associated, uh, sorry the, the profit associated with this will be also 0. So if I have a 0 and I have to generate a 1 size, uh, as in, in case I have 1 uh, size rod and I have to generate 0, 0 or I have to cut into, into the sizes of 0, I will be earning 0 profit. Similarly, for 2 it will be 0, for 3 it will be 0, for 4 it will be 0 and 5 it will be 0. Similarly, if I have the rods of various sizes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and these are the market pieces and the given rod is of zero size so then also I will be earning zero profit okay now I will, ha I will have to find out all these entries in the cell so suppose I have a rod of size one only it means that the market piece that is available with us is of one size only with a one size I will earn two profit if the if the rod that has to be cut into the pieces is of is also of size 1 then only one piece can be generated so that will give us a profit 2 if the rod size is 2 the two pieces of one size can be generated it will give us a profit 4 2 plus 2 4 similarly if the rod size is 3 
it can be cut into three pieces of one inch each so it will give us a profit six similarly for four rod four size rod it can be cut into four pieces of one unit each it will give us a profit eight for five i will cut the rod into five pieces each of the size will give us two profit so two into five is equals to ten is the profit that i can earn now suppose i have a rod of size 1 and 2 as well so since i have a rod of size 1 and 2 as well uh, 1 and 2 both and the rod that has to be cut into the pieces is of size only 1 so obviously this two size rod cannot be generated by this so only one piece can be generated that is of one size it will give us a profit 2 it means that the same entry has been copied here this same entry has been copied here now this entry the rod is of size 2 and I have uh, the market available sizes are 1 and 2 so I can either cut uh, the two size rod into one, one unit each or I can cut the same rod into only one piece I do not cut it in fact I leave it as such so if I leave it as such of 2 inch each it will give us a 5 profit but if I cut it into two pieces of one inch each, it will give us four profit. So out of the four and the five, five is larger. So that's why five profit is considered here and we have written it here. Okay. How did we find it out in the, if we have to find it out with the help of the formula? So first, either this one is maximum. This ent If this is I and this is J, so either t i minus 1 j is maximum means i have to refer to the previous row entry of the same column or profit that this item this ith item is giving us plus table entry of the same row and j minus rod size i okay why do i have written it to j minus rod size i the j is the row number uh, j is the size of the rod and then if a piece of size 2 for example has been taken out from the larger from from the uh, rod that we had so we will remain with a zero size in this case okay so j is 2 and rod size 2 is also 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 so i will remain with 0 uh, zero size rod so t i 0 means t 2 0 t 2 0 is 0 so 0 plus the profit that i am earning with this second rod is 5 so 5 plus 0 is giving us 5 profit so i have written it here Okay. Now, if I have a rod of size 3, how much profit I will earn? I will earn 5 profit because of this 2. And since the rod size has now been reduced, J is 3 minus 2, it is giving us 1. So, I am referring to T I 1 entry. So, T I 1 entry means this one entry is giving us two so five plus two is seven out of six and seven seven is maximum so i have taken this now for this entry i have to change this j to four so four minus two is giving us two so i'm referring to t22 i is two and j is also two i'm referring to t22 it is giving us five so five is the profit plus this entry is also five so this value is 10 out of this one and this one 10 is maximum so i have taken this so uh, with the help of the example this the similar example you can also understand this that why this is 10 that you had a rod of size 1 and 2 and given rod size was 4 so 4 size rod can be cut into two pieces of 2 inches each or 2 unit each this will give us 5 into 2 10 profit what about this 5 for this I have to change this j value to 5. So now j minus rod size of 2, it is giving us 3. So I have to refer to the entry t32. Now t32 entry 
no, sorry t two three entry so t two three entry is seven okay plus this five so it is giving us twelve profit fine now let us consider that i have a rod of size uh, in the market the rod size are available of one two and three both one two and three all these sizes and uh, if with 1 2 3 and the given rod size is 1 only so only this will be copied we have already seen that uh, if uh, this size this 3 is if this 3 is referring to the rod size then up to the second column there will be no change the changes will start coming when this j value is either greater than or equal to the rod size the market rod size okay so this has now become equal here okay now this value can be found it means i have to refer to tij entry so this will be equals to maximum of either ti minus 1j means the previous previous row same column entry or I am adding the profit of this item plus table entry in the same row with j minus rod size i so profit with this third item is 7 plus t i j means t 3 j is 3 so 3 minus rod size is also 3 t 3 0 entry so t 3 0 entry is 0 so 7 plus 0 is giving us 7 out of these two actually both are same so there is no effect on this now for this entry j will change to 4 so I am referring to t 3 1 entry so t 3 1 entry is 2 so 7 plus 2 is 9 so out of 9 and 10 this entry I am selecting 10 so this value has been copied now for this value for finding out this j will change to 5 so i am referring to 5 minus 3 which is giving us 2 so t3 2 entry has to be referred t3 2 which is 5 so with 7 plus 5 is 12 so which is same as this one so this will be copied now suppose i have the piece of 4 size also in the market so for the for, for 4 up to third column there will be no change so these values up to third column will have no change the change will start coming from the fourth column so if i am referring to this column profit of this item is 8 plus ti i means 4 and j here is 4 minus rod size is also 4 minus 4 so t40 entry so t40 entry is 0 so 8 plus 0 it is giving us 8 so out of 8 and 10 10 is maximum so 10 is picked up for finding out this entry this will this j will change to 5 so i am referring to t41 entry so t41 entry is giving us 2 and profit is 8 so 8 plus 2 is 10 out of 12 and 10 12 is maximum so this is taken so this is the maximum profit that i have earned now let's try to write the algorithm for the same the cutting rod problem what are given what are the things given to us the market rod size let's say mr is the market rod size given to us and the profit array is also given let's say p is the profit array total number of items are let's say n and the size of the rod which is given for cut is m so i need to make a table and this table has a size n plus 1 rows and m plus 1 columns i need to set all the entries of this uh, matrix or the array as 0 so this can be done as setting the first value as 0 all other entries will be set as 0 automatically 
because I need uh, this first row and the first column values to be initialized to 0 because of that only what we did we have uh, uh, selected the first entry is 0 rest of the entries will automatically be set as 0 now I need to compute the matrix entries so because of that there will be loops nested loops for i equals to 1 to n do and then for j equals to 1 to m do ok so for finding out the matrix cell entries we need to apply a condition if j is less than or equal to means j is less than or equal to the market rod size that we are taking so that is market rod size i then no changes will be there so tij entry will be same as t i minus 1 j entry but if j is sorry not equal to if j is less than then this if this is not true it means that j is greater than or equal to mri it means the the current rod size or current piece size can be taken into the consideration so because of that i have to find out the tij which will be equals to maximum of ti minus 1j or you are adding that piece so profit of i plus table entry i and j minus market rod size of i ok you can take this as profit array so profit of i plus ti j minus mri once this loop will finish the entry here it means the entry at last row and last column means nth row and mth column will give us the answer so this is the cutting rod algorithm thank you